Previously on Tech Tuesday. What we're gonna do is take these cranks and convert it so it's a single ring. We're going to need a idler here to give us tension. Luckily, our bike included an idler we can use. This one. We are gonna have to do some work. This one's awfully sticky, but it's gonna act as a tensioner because we cannot adjust it here and it's gonna be fantastic. So again, the rear derailleur is gonna act as our chain idler. In a normal situation, we should see this. Snaps back nicely. That gives us chain tension. Looking at what we have, it pulls back. It doesn't move beyond that. It has got some tension problems, lack of tension. So this has got to come apart, hopefully cleaned. The spring we hope is not broken and get some tension on this thing. So we got, we got to go inside, see what's going on. First step, on a rear derailleur on the cage, always look for a stop screw. So there's a screw right here that stops it from unwinding. Normally that's just, <laughs> that's just staying there. Uh, that's sad. So this, this screw here, we're going to press down. There we are. So now the stop screw is out. Normally this spins around. <laughs> it doesn't, doesn't spin much, does it? Come on, spin for me. There. So now it's in the relaxed position. It winds to the back to give tension. We're now relaxed as much as this thing can be. This one comes apart from this side here. This appears to be something that has to come off, so off it comes. And we are working without, we hope, much spring tension. Very good. Put that right here. And let's lift this off. There might be something on the backside we need to see, so this lower cage, I think it needs to come apart because we want to see, I want to get a better view of what's back here before we, we dive in further. So, right free, lower cage. That is out. Let's see, I don't think we have any choice but to turn. Whoa, there we go, glad we didn't turn that. That just pops off. That stud can stay. And here's our spring that was the source of the problem. This is a, this is a fun system here. An outer spring and then an inner spring. So this, it's the same piece of metal. So it's all, all wrapped around. This one is definitely dirty. So let's get a little cleaning action to that spring and wipe things off internally. Degreaser here. Of course, it's completely dry. It does need grease. That's a very interesting thing, that double, that double spring. Little brush here. So this stud is mounted to our main plate here. That's gonna stay right where it is. I don't think that's the problem. I think this was the problem we were having right here. Just simply dirt and junk inside and lack of lubrication. So we're going to clean it off internally, and externally. Let's do a little bit, some air. Solvent is out. It's the nature of these, these springs here. When they're tensioned, they're going to coil tighter upon themselves. We're not asking these springs to expand to give us tension. They're contracting to give us tension. So that, that makes some sense. Okay. So this leg is gonna go on this side. So as we wrap it back, yep, that is gonna be good. So now, this is just a standard PPL. Very durable, water resistant. 
gonna go for the middle hole. We have our plate. There we are. As the stud rotates, it pulls it back. Very, very nice. Now, this cap goes over. That little indentation is going to lay right on top of that spring. We now need a screw. Little thread locker here. A little thread locker in the hole. This is going to hold it all together. Now we come back. There we are. Boing, boing. We've got a spring. That's what we'd like. So the stop screw is going to go in. Here we go. Yes. Screw going in. Yep. Aha. Now we have action. Now we have a, an idler arm. Inside, how about a drop of lubrication? Some oil is good. Replace this. Throw our bolt back in. Line up the two cages. Tight. Double check the upper one. <clears throat> Never came loose, but it's still good. It's tight. Hooray. Now we have something that is finally able to provide some tension. Next, it is going to go on the bike. Now it's determined chain length, kind of like we used to. So let's mount the rear derailleur, but it's not really a rear derailleur. It's an idler, idler mechanism. Gives us tension. Yeah, that's what we want to see there. So a fine tradition, typical bike like this, if it had everything going on it with cables, would be large to large, add two rivets, that would be our chain length. Doesn't apply so much here, but we can still use that. So if we're not going to make it quite so tight, so if I go large ring in front, the only ring, the one in back, the only one, there we are. I need to have this plate be an inner plate, so I would have to go back here. This would be the shortest possible if this were large, large on a, on a derailleur type bike. And then cut one, two, three, four, that one. That's the one I'm gonna cut. That'll give us plenty of slack for the cage to action. You could do just two, but it's gonna be awfully tight taking the wheel in and out there's no reason to fight it so much. No reason to fight. So we're gonna go right here. Okay. This brand here, notice there's a connection rivet. That's why I have to cut this one on an inner plate. There we go, that piece there we don't need. This piece we don't. Wow. We better route this through. Before I do that though, this pulley has got to get tightened down. So you're not, you are setting a limit screw, but it's, it's not for shifting. It's just to sit there. So I'm gonna tighten that H down and that sprocket and that pulley need to look fairly aligned. And boy, that's about all I got and that's good because I'm I'm right under, so that it screw run all the way down. Now we can come around. Right, not catching that tab. Here, 
Just drop that down, it's not to give you tension. You can see we will end up with some tension on our chain. So, that. yeah, and we want to make sure we're going to end up with equal amounts of the rivet showing on both sides. I need to go in just a little, little bit more. We don't want this to be the weak link, as is said. There we are, a little flex. Good, that seems free and easy. We're gonna try it from the bottom up. There we go. We're gonna come up on here. And there is our idler wheel, giving us some fast action on our wheel. Indexing seems fine. Limit screw looks fine. I think that's, that's beauteous. There's more to come. We're getting close. We're getting close to the finish. Be there for the final episode of the bike we took out of the trash.